Hey there! If you're here to learn more about Brawler and Smash in general, then you might be interested in checking out my Metafy page. I do replay analysis, first to 10 sessions and more. So if you're looking for improvement, I'd really appreciate if you could give it a look. Now let's get into the video. Slingshotting is Ultimate's latest movement tech that lets characters pretty much perform a frame-perfect buffered turnaround jump, or any other action, at any point, most prominently after a landed aerial. In this video, I'm gonna go over all possible and useful applications of this new tech for me brawler, and will also explain its limitations. I'll quickly go over how it works and why it works, but if you want to watch the whole tech explanation video, I've linked it in the description. Let's go! First up, no, the slingshot has nothing to do with the already existing slingshot burning dropkick. But people don't care about me's, so I guess we're just screwed. The main idea behind slingshot is that you can buffer a turnaround after any action frame perfectly, meaning you only have to time your actions afterwards, usually a jump. This enables characters with good forward facing options, like Sheik, Wolf or Lucas, to infinitely shield pressure their opponents by staying relatively safe. A common misconception is that Slingshot somehow gives you more aerial momentum than a regular dash jump, or that it gives you a higher frame advantage after landing with an aerial, but this is not true. It is nothing else but a very fast, easy to perform turnaround jump or grab or up smash. This doesn't mean it's not useful, as some characters can still greatly benefit from having consistent options for that, but I also don't want to exaggerate its effects. Before I explain Brawler's applications for Slingshot, let me first go over some things that Brawler doesn't benefit from compared to other characters. The most important one here would be safety. A lot of characters, for example Sheik, Diddy and especially Mewtwo, shift their hurtbox away from the opponent during their turnaround animation. This makes it possible for them to escape shield grabs and other out of shield options that would otherwise hit a regular dashback. Me Brawler doesn't have that benefit. His turnaround hitbox is actually less safe than his regular dash away, so in terms of additional safety, there is no additional safety. In fact, his regular standing jump can sometimes escape faster than a dash away, so keep this in mind. Next would be spaced forward facing options. This is already something where opinions differ, but I'm gonna explain my reasoning. Characters like Lucas or Sheik benefit greatly from having this, because they have an amazing forward air or neutral B for spacing on someone's shield. Brawler forward air? Uh, let's say I'm not the biggest fan. It does have some more range than back air, but it's weaker, less safe, less consistent, does less damage, and is overall just inferior to it. So there's very, very rarely a reason to try and space with forward air instead of back air, which makes it kinda pointless as a slingshot application. Next up are combos and safer combo extensions. The only consistent brawler combos that feature turnaround are weak near back air and landing up air or down tilt back air. For up air and down tilt, you usually don't want to drift forwards as it might mess up the combo against the eye in, so a regular turnaround jump is preferred. For weak near back air, it would be possible to use slingshot, but regular attack cancels are, at least from my experience, way easier and more consistent to perform. Slingshot does offer you the option to drift away after going for the back air, which can be safer when within the combo, but this is also something we don't want if we could instead just frame trap, tech chase or add more pressure. At the point of this video, there have been some ideas for new combos with weak reverse nair, but those are very situational at best and most likely not something you're gonna get in bracket. With that out of the way, let's talk about some actual applications for Brawl. With punishes after a safe landed aerial. If you land on someone's shield with a safe aerial, where the safety level depends on the opponent's out of shield options, you have the option to counter an attempt to punish with another landing aerial, mainly nair and up air. For example, you land with a weak nair on Wolf's shield. Wolf tries to punish it with an up smash, but you slingshot away in time and punish him with a landing up air combo. The precise term here would be full shot because you have to hold towards your opponent right after jumping, but because you don't actually want to jump too early, as otherwise you're gonna get hit, I'm not even sure if you can call it that. In the end, it results in a turnaround jump at any point 2 to 11 frames after starting the dash, 
So whether you want to call that a slingshot is up to you. The same example can by the way be made with different areas against different characters, as long as your area is safe enough. Against Sephiroth, whose fastest out of shield option is Nair at frame 12, you can easily slingshot away after an up air. Against Yoshi, who is Nair's frame 6 out of shield, neither dashing away, jumping away or slingshot will be Nair after an unspaced area, so your best bet is to simply shield. Similar to that, but with a different intention, is spaced back air into retreating forward air. If you want to play at max distance, for example against Lucina or Roy, it can be useful to try to space around with back airs. If you do hit their shield or whiff, and you predict the opponent dashing or jumping towards you, forward air has the highest range to intercept these offensive options. You could also simply go for another back air instead, but this is one of the rare cases where forward air's slightly higher range and active frames might be useful. Next up is retreating shot put. Slingshot offers an easy method to do a retreating shot put with maximum air drift on the first frame of jump. Even if retreating shot put isn't such a strong option in itself, at least you now have a way to maximize its safety. Empty land slingshot. This is similar to whiff punishing after landed area, but generally more neutral based. You jump towards an opponent, fast follows if you're going for an aerial or tomahawk grab, land and then slingshot away and back towards them. This is useful as a general movement option, and to bait out of shield options and spot dodges. And finally, we have instant pivot grabs. Brawler's pivot grab gets a massive boost in range compared to his standard grab, so using slingshot to do a frame perfect buffered pivot grab after landed nair or empty hop could help make tomahawk grabs more effective and safe. And that's pretty much it for what Brawler can do with slingshot. So now the big question, how good is slingshot for Brawler? Is he now an even better Battle Fox? In my opinion, it's meh. Compared to other characters, Brawler doesn't have the safety, no real good forward facing options and bad air acceleration compared to his fall speed. Sure, whiff punishes are nice, but up air can often also just hit behind you, the dash back, dash in can often be just as effective and he has too many other good options in close quarter combat. I do think it's worth learning and integrating it as a movement option but it won't put Brawler any higher on the tier list. With that said, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing and until the next video.